what came up was this like fucking anger. Like, I just want to do this video. But like, the conditions were not right for it. It wasn't ready. It wasn't the time. Hello, Phoenix. Who is that boy? Okay, welcome to day 27. We are less than 20 days away, right? Yeah, we're like, I don't know, I'm not gonna do the math again on camera. <laughs> but we're less than 20 days from the end of this little project. It's very cool. It's very late. Well, it's later in the day than I usually do these. Just wasn't coming up. Usually it's like right away in the mornings or like earlier in the day. I'm like, yeah, let's get to the video. Today I was taking my time. It wasn't really coming up until right now. So here I am. Okay. Okay. Day 27. Phoenix is here. That's why I look over in that direction. Okay. I'm curious to see what today has in store. I have no idea. Oh, that one is trippy. There you are. Check out that tarot. Or that. This is technically, I learned this in this process this is not a tarot deck a tar the tarot deck is a very specific card card system that i just call everything a tarot deck but tarot is a very specific the very specific it's like the og of of tarot cards these are called oracle cards so it's different but i just call it tarot i hope no one minds anyway this is a very cool card it says, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. And it's like walking in the dark, in the storm, in the cave, and coming, you see the little doorway, there's like this path leading out to this place that is like more alive, more lively, there's, there's more color to it, there's more happening to it. Um, interesting there's some snakes here in the cave this is that well a couple things come up for this is the first point is the first point that came up for this was this whole 44 days of reading the tarot or the oracle cards like picking a day one a day for me and like publishing and like talking about what comes up facing some of my fears pushing me to like be really um, open and expressive and naturally who I am when I'm alone like finding that point of comfort that I have within myself no matter where I am or with who I'm with or whoever's watching with with no like sense of holding myself back I want to live out loud in such a way where I don't care where I'm at or who I'm with I am the same person me my expressive self who is all about like having fun and enjoyment and fulfilling curiosity and wanting to explore and wanting to like enjoy life. That's who I am. At my natural core, that's who I am. I want to enjoy life. And um, so that's what I've been trying to, you know, do for myself with this 44 days. And what I started to notice was like, it's kind of like, the 40 days and 40 nights and I don't know much about the story and I should probably look into it but in terms of like you know Jesus walking the 40 days and 40 nights and I think we do it for Easter Passover something right something um people celebrate now by fasting for 40 days 40 nights I don't know what it is I'll look into it and I'll educate myself so I, I don't sound so ignorant but um for me, it, it felt kind of like I was walking a pilgrimage. Have you ever read um, Pueblo, Pueblo, Quelo, Pueblo, Pueblo, Quelo? God, I'm having a hard time today. Um, his book, The Pilgrimage. And it's just that point of like setting out on a journey, setting out on a process essentially of like self discovery and challenging yourself and facing yourself and, and facing unknown things and 
you know, overcoming obstacles and, you know, it's like I really feel like this is kind of what I've set up for myself is this is my own little pilgrimage that I've set for myself and I'm kind of, you know, coming out of the halfway mark and there was a little like, you know, stagnation that hit, boredom that hit. Um, you know, it's kind of like, okay, still kind of going through it. Even though every day has been so fulfilling. You want to tell us, Mom? Uh, every day has been so fulfilling and fun. and um, But it's a lot of work, too. Like, I really push myself to, like, get a video out every day. And then I'm making videos for TikTok, which is, like, you know, yesterday I published six videos from little clips. Um, that, yeah, it's just like a lot of work. Anyways, I, I'm definitely pushing myself and I feel like I'm in the midst of this pilgrimage and, yeah. Um, so I'm like creating an initiation for myself, a rite of passage, a cross, crossing into the threshold. It's almost like I've set this up for myself to give myself permission to finally stand in the point that I see within me that is who I really am. And... I could have done that without all of this. Like that's what I'm realizing is I don't have to do anything to earn anything or to prove myself to anyone or even to myself. I am in my birthright perfect. I am perfect. I am perfect. I don't have to do anything to prove my value or worth like a baby, you know? So it's like that's who I was when I came into this world. Um, but essentially I feel like that's what this whole 44 days has been, has been for me. It's me creating a journey for me to walk to allow myself to finally stand within my potential and my power and my vision of what I see I want to do and create and to be able to stand in that point without any fear or worry about what another person's going to think of me. And I've been facing a lot of points within this. Like, I mean, it's been easier in terms of I am definitely pushing that point of not caring, um, you know, and really I want to be in a position where I'm, I'm giving of myself unconditionally with no expectations of anything in return because the act of I find expressing myself in a moment fully, absolutely, is so fulfilling. I feel so fulfilled within my expression and in this act of communicating, I really love to communicate and express myself and share my perspective. And I told Andrew, my partner the other day, that like, Really, this is fun for me because I get to impose my perspective on the world, and I love doing that. And, yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> People will either listen or they won't. It doesn't matter. What, com what it comes down to is my, my experience in the moment. Am I happy? Am I satisfied? Am I fulfilled? Because that, to me, is the ultimate goal, goal that everyone should be striving for. Your own satisfaction, your own fulfillment. Um, your own realization of what's true and powerful and you know what what's true for you you know finding your point who you are you know um and what you want to express um crossing the threshold yeah so it's like just coming into your own coming into your own and this is really i feel like this image really depicts this because I feel like I was walking in darkness for so long in terms of like not realizing the power and potential I really have within myself and how I'm able to actually harness that and I am so fucking okay so it's a few hours later <laughs> I had to go because the earlier recording clearly wasn't working out too well I don't know if you could really pick up on what was going on here but essentially I had a baby who just went number two in his diaper I had a uh, memory card that was that filled up and stopped recording and then I had my battery start flashing red and so it was just like a perfect kind of storm saying this is not the right moment and and what came up was this like fucking anger like I just want to do this video but like the conditions were not ripe for it it wasn't ready it wasn't the time and so that point came up of like the first thing you want to do is lash out at something or someone in your environment to blame right my partner's here so that's an easy target but essentially you know I'm taking care of the baby cleaning his poopy diaper giving him a bottle and it's like there's no one to blame. I'm not even to blame. The conditions just weren't ready yet. The conditions weren't right. And that's okay. It's okay. 
take a step back, reset. We went for a nice walk around the neighborhood. Him and I took a lovely nap together. I woke up very hungry and ate. You ever have that experience of being so hungry and you eat and the food is just way better? Um, I was gonna have a delicious espresso, which I haven't yet had yet, but now I have that to look forward to. So it was good because now I feel like I'm in a better position to share myself and to be here with you as this recording. Um, <laughs> How does that relate to this rite of passage, cross, crossing the threshold? I don't know, maybe it is we have to kind of walk through some heavier storms. Sometimes we have to walk through the darkness. Sometimes we have to walk through the shadow of the valley of death. Sometimes we have to walk through, you know, it's like, it's like the creature emerging from the swamp, kind of emerging from the soil, emerging from the ocean that starts to like take steps on land. You know, it's like that point of evolving or like growing up. Um, yeah. So this definitely was what was going on in the last half, the first half of this recording. And I'm definitely feeling like I'm here now, okay? So that's a micro version. The macro version I was trying to explain earlier <laughs> was, I really do feel like this is a pilgrimage for me and I am walking myself on a journey. And if you haven't wet, read the um, Pablo Coelho book, The Pilgrimage, it's a very cool example of kind of what this 44 days is for me and what I'm learning about myself and what I'm facing and what I'm coming to realize and understand about myself and, and the clarity and specificity in which I want to live and direct and create my life is, is coming so much more into focus and what I was saying in that last video was I am so so excited for this next phase of my life because I really do feel like I have come into my own. I really do feel like I have grown up and I feel like I've stepped into this new point of becoming a woman, you know, really coming into my own. <laughs> I just had my quinceanera, is that what it's called? <laughs> it's like um, just feeling like, yeah, I, I've been walking as a baby for a long time and not really sure of myself or where I am or where I'm going or who I am or what I'm doing or, and just like seeing so much like blossoming happening with some, you know, with the struggles, through the struggles, through the, uh, the, uh, um, the, um, I don't know what the word is, but just through the struggles and obstacles, there it is, that word, um, you know, facing the challenges and like really the last decade pushing myself deep into the challenges, um, facing my fears, you know, really pushing myself to see who am I without everything I've believed myself to be. And what stands here is this this being, this woman that's just like wants to live and wants to express and wants the freedom to do that and wants that for everyone else. And that's my mission in life. And it's, I, I feel as though this is the last card, but it's not. We have, like I said, less than 20 to go, but we still got a good chunk of time during this, this pilgrimage, pilgrimage, but it's almost like getting a second wind, you know, it's like things maybe got like routine of like every day kind of doing the same thing and now it's like oh yes now I remember why I'm doing this and now I, now I remember why I'm here and yeah let's just reinvigorate it you know which is good because yesterday was replenished so I, I do feel replenished I do feel like I still see this as my goal um, as the point in which I'm walking to is that point of freedom, that point of expression, that point of life experienced and explored and had and is having and is having and is being enjoyed. I'm just looking to really live and, and enjoy my life as much as I can. That matters so much to me because I want to exemplify that for Phoenix because I want Phoenix to live his life to the absolute fullest and I can't tell him to do that unless I'm doing that myself. So onward we go.